Big John here with the old C39 AK by Century Arms. You may have seen it in such videos as I broke my AK. You guys saw that one? I broke my AK in that video. Um, well, uh, Century Arms apparently found out about the video and they sent us about uh, 10 new AKs and uh, a whole giant crate full of uh, spring assemblies. Not really the X, but they did send us a new uh, spring assembly. And uh, I'll show you the, the new part, the unbroken new part there. So it's just the standard stock one that came in the gun. And um, as you can see, it's nice and shiny and new. And uh, I probably will replace it uh, eventually because I, I don't really like how it broke that easily. Whenever I slap this thing on there like that, because I didn't have it, I didn't have it lined up. Uh, uh, but even though I didn't have it lined up, I feel like it should have been able to take that, that kind of abuse because, you know, that could happen. I, I don't care how experienced you are. It's not like that's just an insane mistake to make, you know, while the thing was just a slightly over to the right a little bit and I banged on it and it didn't go down. If I, if, if my AK is going to break that easily, I don't want it. So I probably will replace it eventually, but I'm going to leave the stock one in here for now just to see how it performs. If it breaks again, I'm going to continue to be rough on it. I might even bang on it with a sledgehammer just to see what it does. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on that and see how it does. And uh, we'll shoot it some in this video and uh, just see how it performs, see if it breaks again. So hopefully not. We'll go ahead and take a few shots with it. Try to hit the red plate over there. Now that we got it hung back up, knocked it down the other day. Pretty sweet shooter, I gotta say, I just, man, AKs are just a lot of fun. You know, like I was saying in the other video, people argue over AK versus AR. Really should just enjoy both of them. I mean, they're both classic designs. If you're trying to decide which one you're gonna take out to the bush tomorrow, I mean, that's, you know, you need to, to figure out what's important to you uh, about the different ones, which I won't get into that today, but from just a collector standpoint, why not have an AK? I mean, really, can you think of any excuse to not have an AK. I can't. If you can think of one, you know, please let me know. Um, maybe if you live in New Jersey, maybe there's a reason not to have one based on the laws there. But but these things are just just amazing, you know. Even though even though it broke, it, it still doesn't doesn't shake my my confidence just in the design itself. Because the design is great. You, any gun, I don't care what it is. Uh, it's, if it's the greatest design ever if this isn't really if this might be that might be what this is but a uh, hypothetical gun that is the greatest design ever could still have a bad part you know it could be made by some guy who doesn't know what he's doing or, or it could be just you know any machine can fail um, you could have a the machine that makes the machine might have failed that could have been all it was it wasn't the gun it was just I mean, or maybe the machine that makes the machine that makes the machine fail who knows so you know, somewhere along the line, something or someone made a mistake and my AK broke, which was a sad day, but it's fixed now and uh, keep shooting it and we'll find out. Find out why, maybe. You know, maybe it was a bad part, we'll find out. But these things uh, are, just, are just so much fun. And uh, one point I like to make is, you know, I've, I've talked to shooters before and um, some shooters can be really intense, I've noticed. I mean, I'm not really a very intense sort of guy, so sometimes that kind of, it's a little abrasive to me sometimes when I'm around those types. You know, I, I like to, uh, to practice and train just like anybody else, but, but I grew up doing this for fun. I mean, it's just fun. It's fun to take a gun like this especially and just come out and, and uh, shoot up a bunch of targets and maybe some old toaster that, that makes you mad, you know, just put a bunch of holes in it, stuff like that. I mean, it's just, it's just fun. You don't have, don't feel like every time you go to the range or go out into the woods or, or 
whatever you're doing that that it has to be this this big training session that's super serious and and you know you're you're training for the the end of the world or uh, whatever it is it doesn't have to be like that you can you can still learn almost as much but just by going out there and, and having fun and I, a lot of the a lot of the trainers will tell you that uh, but I think I think sometimes people they get they get too wrapped up in like oh that's not practical it's not practical to shoot that fast it's not practical to use a slide fire stock it's not practical to do this well, who cares I mean it's not practical to break the speed limit it's not practical to have you know uh, a fast car you know just just you know it's just fun that's that's all that matters you know I mean, it's not all that matters but it's important you know just to be able to have fun with it so let me show you what I mean I'm about to do something extremely unpractical and you notice I was using my left hand to take that safety that's the one thing that I don't like about well maybe it's not all AKs but a lot of them the safety is just stiff I mean it's not like you can just oh yeah let me just quickly pop it off I mean at least not with this one. I'm sure I could loosen it up. But, okay. Uh, let's see, I'll shoot one of these tanks down here. See, that, that kind of stuff is just fun. Very impractical, of course. I mean, there's still things you can learn from it. There's some advantage to being able to to shoot fast and learn how to control the gun when you're shooting fast and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't even care about all that. I just like to just like to do that. It's fun. I don't, I don't really need a reason, really. I'm gonna do it again. able to get some pretty good double taps but like I say sometimes trying to shoot fast it's like a it's like a tongue twister for your finger sometimes I can I can do it I can really just hammer it in there and then other times it's it's very sporadic you know just kind of depends but uh, this thing has a really sweet trigger in it so it definitely wins to that kind of shooting but these things are just there's a lot of fun I mean there's no way around it I can we don't have one <laughs> 